Should I buy these stocks? Sunworks, Churchill Capital, Tuscan Holdings. Well, first of all, how quickly have a look at GameStop. GameStop is it was probably up for to one percent, even though it's not what we're talking about. But um, it's somewhat in the news. It's um, it's uh, just you know escaping away. Okay, so back back to what we have here. You can um, we have Sunworks here. As at the 22nd of January 2020, 2021, sorry, it reached its 52-week high of, uh, it, it triggered a new 52-week high of $20.49, and it has even since exceeded, exceeded that, it closed at $22.90. Today in the pre-market, it's currently at $24.90, up 8.73% from that 22nd of January 2021 close. And we have below that it appears to be in a strong bullish trend. It's 200 day moving average is output sloping, and the MACD histogram is above zero. It is currently performing better day than the SP 500. Momentum for Sunworks is strongly bullish. The 14 period slow stochastic oscillator is above 80. The level which many analysts, analysts call overbought. This means that investors are actually actively purchasing shares and driving the price higher, most certainly. We can see that right here. It, is, it has a price rate of change of 347.3%. And in that, you have momentum, and which means that it might be the momentum itself, okay? It might, be, it might have a smaller figure, I believe so, yes. Um, I think it may have a smaller figure or more, more or some, one of those. But uh, all in all, Price of change is high, momentum will definitely be high. Overbought, it can see it's in the overbought territory from this metrics we, we have here. It's currently at 87.71%. That is the relative price, uh, relative strength index, but also indicating um, overbought cases as well. So this is what happened. The, what you're looking at right now is what as, as it was on the 22nd. Today is the 25th, so it's even higher there. So this is what's going on in the pre-market with Sunworks. You can see this is the pre-market, this gray area. This this line, this whitish line you've seen here is the volume weighted average price. So yeah, it's currently out uh, performing that and all these other trend lines has actually outperformed that. So this stock is hot. I wouldn't recommend that you buy it. You know, um, um, if you haven't bought it, then um and you really have to buy it you have to buy it then if you're gonna do so do so but let it be a long-term investment let it not be a this is my opinion let it not don't don't let it be a a, a day trading exercise if you can day trade it why not go ahead and do so but i wouldn't recommend that you jump in now to buy it um i believe from this it does pull back and correct sometimes it does you know it does pull back even though it has never ever since all right okay since december january december of 20 what okay all right since this year 2021 it hasn't really pulled back below any of its trend lines but in the recent in recent times you know november yeah as at, as at last month or thereabouts it did pull back below its short term trend line so it it can happen so you know i would recommend that you just hold on take a break and uh, wait for that to happen and before you jump in so the next uh, equity we will uh, look at is churchill capital churchill capital i believe is involved with uh, microvast or thereabout so you can see it has a market cap of 5.8 billion. It's a spark, no doubt about that. It doesn't have any trend at the moment just because it's, it's newly issued. So it doesn't have enough data for that uh, trend analysis. So momentum for CCIV strongly bullish. The 14 period slow stochastic oscillators above 80, 80. The level which many analysts call overbought, which means that investors are actively purchasing shares and driving the price higher. Yes, you can see it is uh, strongly overbought here. You know, it's actually reached its maximum and has uh, pulled back again. Okay, so um, let's have a look and see what's going on in the pre-market for CCIV. Okay. 
so this is CCIV as well it has uh, you know um, okay right now in the pre-market it's uh, slightly below its short term and uh, medium term trend lines and also below its um, volume weighted average price but you can see it's up 14.9 percent in the pre-market as well so for this stock also um, I, let me have let's have a look and see I wouldn't recommend that you just go jump in now and buy it now that it is uh, still hot so um, I would just you know I know the uh, stock it's trying to emerge with is um, right right there in the EV space and all that stuff you know just but you, know, you have to be uh, patient you know um, um, if you really have to jump in okay it hasn't um, been that bad the price is not too it's still in double in the low double digits you know um, by all means I would just say just be patient and see how it goes but if you can't wait for it then don't invest uh, don't stake a lot of money in the stock and uh, you know you know Nothing more than I would recommend in this case. Nothing more than uh, hundred dollars. You know, to be honest, and just uh, a very small amount of money and see how it goes from there. Okay. So um, the next one is uh, Tuscan Holdings. Okay, Tuscan Holdings is so far ninety three thousand four hundred uh, shares have traded so far. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can find anything in the what's going on technically okay yes uh, Toscan appears to be in uh, appears to be correct and within a longer term bullish trend okay let's see yes it is correct and within a, a, a absolutely this is a longer term this yellow line below here is a longer term bullish uh, this a longer term bullish trend line so it's bullish because it's sloping upward so it's correct and so you know some of these stocks do really correct yes so um pff, straight away man i would say if you want to buy it before we even conclude you know look around very well it might be it has presented a good buying opportunity yes you know um momentum for toscan is strongly bearish okay the moment the 14 period slow stochastic oscillators below 20 the level which many analysts call oversold this means that investors have been actively selling shares and driving the price lower so we can see that I saw uh, the twenty second of January. The momentum was definitely be this price of the change was definitely below zero. You know, so definitely below twenty as, as well. Yes. So um, the unbalanced volume indicator shows that uh, longer term accumulation has given way to near term selling pressure. Okay, so let's have a look at and see what's going on in the pre market for THCB okay yes in the pre-market it's up 1.46 percent okay and um, also trading below each trend lines as well as the volume weighted average price it's, that's what is going on now in the pre-market up 1.46 percent so if you really feel confident about um, Toscan Holdings, yes, it has presented by an opportunity. You can see it's trading. It's it is cheaper than what its trend lines, especially short term trend lines, are indicating. So in the very short term, the, the short term picture, um, it is quite cheap in relative terms, but um, still not still more expensive than its that in than its um, uh, medium term trend line, which is at fourteen dollars. Uh, okay. So um, for some 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 market participants, that is an opportunity, you know, for them to jump in. And we can also see that this stock it does pull back and also spikes again. So um, if you feel confident about uh, Toscan, you know, just be careful. Don't stick a lot of money in it and see how it goes. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe, like, and share. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much for watching this video.